Greg, a very fan-oriented result. I know coaches oftentimes look at these games uh, a little bit differently. What did you see in this one for your club? It was a weird game. Uh, first thing is we got to stay out of the penalty box. It's something we're, we're, we're having to waste too much time and energy on talking with the group. Uh, but in the long in the long term, like we can't like we can't play sustained hockey and win and win games if we're going to be in the box that often. Uh, the positive to that is how how good our penalty kill, kill did at eliminating opportunities. Uh, Coach Snowden's been doing a, a heck of a job with those guys and preparing them, uh, keeping them organized and and really building a mindset of how they're attacking and approaching that area of the hockey game. Uh, it was really good to see a couple guys kind of spring offensively. Uh, the puck play hasn't been a very simple or smooth thing for us to work through the last few games. Um, at times when we did find our space in our offense, I, I thought our puck play was pretty good. You look at a guy like uh, you know Bobby McMahon who comes in, he four games, four points, he's having some success. What, he's, what is he doing right? He's getting the ice tilted. He's a very strong skater. Uh, he, he plays to his strengths, and, and that's just simply driving his feet, gaining depth into the zone. He sets up the whole team with, uh, with his power and his strength of forcing the other team to come all the way back into their D zone, stopping their spots. He sets up the O zone for, for our team and establish a presence at that end of the rink. He has a, a heck of a shot when he, when he has time and space to shoot the puck. Uh, but that line uh, today of uh, McMahon, Douglas, and Gabriel and an awesome start for us. Uh, they were determined at the beginning of the game to make sure that we got things going in the right direction, and they put the team on our back today. And the, you know, when I look at that line, I just think that they get it done with their feet. There's just a lot of movement, a lot of. Uh, what are you seeing from that line that, that, the way they're having success, especially in this game? Yeah, they're all competing. The guys that they're on the ice with, uh, or against. The, the sustained puck pressure, they're relentless. Uh, when you take away time and space from an opponent who has the puck on their stick, it's, it's simple science or math. Like They just don't have as much time for their brain to process a good play. So if you just take that away from them, more likely the play is going to be more predictable for our guys behind us to pick off the pass or it's going to be a, a bobbled puck or they're going to make a bad pass. It's going to be a turnover, and uh, that allows the guys in behind uh, the puck pressure to pick it up and go make a play offensively. Just to drop back into that penalty discussion and uh, those stick infractions, the style of the penalties, uh, you, your thoughts on the, the symptom of what that is uh, as opposed to just, you know, kind of their penalties for sure, but w why those kinds particularly? More times than not, it's because we're not working uh, and out competing our opponents or we're not putting ourselves in a smart position offensively and especially defensively, uh, maybe cheating on, the, on the, the wrong side of the puck, but you know, it's sometimes just as simple as if you're chasing from behind to keep moving your feet and keep your stick on the ice rather than reaching.